Many have dubbed this year's election cycle as the year of the woman. One of those creating that reality is Rachel Rollins. Outside of Boston, you probably have not heard of her, but she's already making history. Rollins is the first woman of color elected to be district attorney within the jurisdiction of Boston. Her mission now, help law enforcement focus less on nonviolent crimes and more on violent crimes and solving homicides. Rachel Rollins, incoming district attorney, welcome. And thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Tell us, uh, you have talked about uh, how you want to see law enforcement to refocus on violent crimes, solving homicides, and not as much on nonviolent crimes. And you ran on this and you won. Explain uh, to our viewers what it is you're saying and why you think that we need this refocus in law enforcement. Yes, absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for letting me come on this show. I'm a fan and I, I, I appreciate you asking my opinion. So what I'd like uh, your listenership and viewership to understand is that law enforcement spends a lot of time arresting individuals or investigating things and, and um, utilizing resources on crimes that involve mental illness, substance use disorder and poverty. And what I would prefer that they do is channel those resources into the more serious and violent crimes that we have in Suffolk County. So, for example, I came up with a list of 15 crimes that I said in the first instance we would not be incarcerating individuals for these crimes. This includes trespassing, um, shoplifting, uh, you know, breaking and entering into a vacant property for the purpose of seeking shelter so in the middle of the winter in boston here if you have the choice between dying in a street or or breaking into um, an abandoned building to sleep with shelter um, i don't think somebody should be arrested and incarcerated as a result of that i think what we should be doing is looking at it as a more social issue that it is so i'm sort of sifting and sorting those things there and as the next district attorney of suffolk county i'm going to be speaking quite a bit about this and then implementing those changes now in implementing them uh... you are saying that we really need to focus more on homicides violent crimes and obviously the constituents in Boston or, or, or Suffolk County agreed with you because they elected you. And that's running counter to what some cities have done in past years where they went of building up quotas on things like people that were sleeping in, in uh, abandoned buildings or uh, squeegee people and things of that nature. Absolutely. Or we're seeing a trend where, for example, turnstile jumping 